Yo, what is going on guys? It is JD here back with another 2k video and today guys we are going to be going into triple threat offline and using a couple of budget players just to show you guys how I like to win my games on uh, offline rather than online. You don't need an amazing team, that is for sure. You can get by with some budget beasts and that is exactly what we like doing on this channel. So today we're going to be running with Ruby Yao Ming, Ruby Michael Jordan and the Emerald Stephen Curry. We'll play two games today, we'll see what the drops are like, we'll see what the gameplay is like. But I'm just going to show you guys how I run my offense, how I run my defense and how I get easy wins. I don't think I've lost a game of offline triple threat yet which is I don't know if that's something to brag about to be honest because obviously the teams aren't incredible some of the teams have a couple of pink diamonds in them but of course triple threat offline you are guaranteed tokens now triple threat online you're not guaranteed to get any number of tokens throughout the entirety of a 10 game run or if you get knocked out then however many games it takes you to get knocked out but of course in triple threat offline as you can see in the middle there you do get three tokens for every five games you play so it's not the best but it is guaranteed so if you really are wanting to go for tokens for the galaxy opals triple threat offline might be the move you did get five tokens for the first six boards i believe and then once you're through all of them you move on to this board seven and the reward has gone down to three tokens which makes no sense it doesn't make sense how you can play the game do well and then get punished for it like i'm not sure what genius at 2k thought that would be a good idea but we're going to start off with a wide open three for steph right there as you can see when you put a screen or call for a screen the defender will likely go underneath it which is fantastic as long as you have one sort of point guard who can shoot very well from three and who has a nice stroke so of course my emerald steph has limitless he's got a great three ball. I think it goes to like an 89 three ball after the coach boost. So yeah, no one's really going to be stopping him if he does get a wide open look. And of course, we've got Yao Ming in there for rebounds. And I was about to say we've got Michael Jordan in there for slashing, but of course he gets swatted. But Yao Ming is there to clean up. Of course, you could run with Manute Bolt as your big man. And that's another little tip there. You want to be going for the easy steals as you just, oh, of course, that's going to miss that one. Um, as the opponent is running up, if you just go against them, against them diagonally, press square at the right time, you are going to be able to get a nice easy steal. So we should have really got the uh, splashdown with Steph, but we're going to take another one, another open three, and he's going to hit that. Of course, offline is so, so different to online. Online, I would recommend staying away from jump shots and definitely focusing more on driving inside, but offline is pretty much the opposite. It's a lot easier to get wide open shots than it is to drive inside against the CPU. As Derek Favors puts it right over Michael Jordan. I'm pretty sure MJ has some pretty nice defensive stats, but apparently not. So you can do the inbound cheese a little bit. Not too much though, because apparently we've missed two open threes with Steph. So yeah, you can do it, especially if you get takeover. It does come in very, very handy, but in general, I would say to avoid it. Yao Ming's got a bit of a mid-range, but apparently not good enough to nail that one. So we've had a pretty poor start to this game, to be honest. I would usually be up a lot more than this. So we're just going to go for a simple pick from Yao. And let's see if Donovan Mitchell is going to go under this one. And he is. I mean, what was that, Yao? What was that, Yao? What are you doing to me? Oh, my days. That is incredible. I'm not entirely sure what's just happened there. But we actually go down in this game. So, right, let's try and get a quick three here. That's a nice open look, and that is a green light. So there you go. You can do it if you get the timing right. You can get the easy threes off of the inbounds. And, of course, now we've got the takeover. Now we should really start to cook, especially with a Stephen Curry card. We're going to miss the mid-range. We're actually going to give up the rebound and give up an and one. If that was in games. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> The MJ, of course, cannot shoot threes to save his life. So that is why you have to have a shooter. And, of course, that's why I've got this Stephen Curry card here. So let's call for a screen from Yao. Hopefully, Donovan goes under it. And that should give us a nice, easy score. Even though it's lightly contested, it doesn't matter. Steph Curry doesn't even have deep range dead eye, And he can still hit down those shots. So let's try and get a stop on the defensive end. That would be nice. 
can easily drive inside against Yao. That's not a problem, but apparently it is because he just got the animation where he just brushes past him like he isn't even there. We can pop that from nearly half court and get a green light. That is pretty easily done. Let's go for a steal here. We miss a steal. <laughs> and Donovan Mitchell gets right by us to get his takeover for the game. But it doesn't matter. With Steph Curry with takeover, you know, they ain't going to be doing too much against us. So Yao Ming with a nice green. That's another green light. So you see, he can do this pretty much the entire game. And it is very effective and it is very easy. As long as you've got someone who can shoot threes, you've got a nice release that you can get down. You're really going to be having a great time of it. Goubert taking a mid-range. I'm more than happy with. I'm not sure why I've jumped there. That's such a dumb thing to do. But we've got the last shot of the game. So let's see if we can do something with MJ. It would be nice to get a dunk to finish the game. But we're not going to get it. And we're really not even going to get that to go down. There should have been a block there. Or should have been a steal, sorry. And then Donovan Mitchell puts it right over Steph. So we do actually have to hit this last shot. Of course this game would be the only one that's been close in like, I can't even remember how many games of Triple Threat I have played. But yeah, it's difficult, but it's not going to be a problem. We'll get Yao out for a big boy screen and then we'll see about Steph Curry ending this game. There we go. I was pretty confident in that one dropping. So we do comfortably get the win in the end. It was never really in any doubt. So we've got 336 MT for completing the game. But of course, on Triple Threat Offline, you don't even get any ball drops, which is a little bit of a joke to be honest. So the next board we would have, how many teams we've got there? We've got three teams left to get the three tokens. So it's a little bit of a joke that you don't even get any ball drops or anything. But you can see how easy it was to get through these games pretty quickly in Indeed. So I will be interested to see how the boards do progress. Of course, this is board seven. Got to get through this and then on to board 10, I believe, is the last one. But of course, offline, it's not really great. It's good for the tokens because they're guaranteed, but I'd rather take the chance online and see how many tokens you can get from all the ball drops that you get. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Plenty more triple threat to come. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.